Hey everybody, welcome back, back, back to the Bullhooker Podcast. I'm Moose Lundstrom. Hey, and I'm Densia Kudrin. The stranger Densia Kudrin. Mm-hmm, stranger danger. Now, let me catch you up real quick. I forgot the record button again. Someone is, if someone's counting at home, go ahead and fill below on the uh, the comments how many times I've done this and admit to it. Uh-huh. So, uh, Densia is not dead. She's been here, and I hope she shits her pants constantly. <laughs> that's where we were the last time. Yeah, that's basically all. That's all you miss. That's yes, all you miss. Yes. Just a bunch of literal shit talking. Uh, last time she was here was a guy named named randolph she called rudy and it's not michael blackett it's his brother we can't remember his Sorry. name Sorry, yeah. ain't as good as it once was oh my god was it ever that great to be no enough? no no you know you know this so and you brought you brought a good friend of yours on. i did bring a good friend i bought my old friend jake norris and now my co-worker he is what's up jake what's going on guys how, how are, are you? you man i'm living another day another dollar man that's yes. living life <laughs> some days it feels like a nickel and that shit sucks but it's all yeah. good i'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, uh, you guys were in Pueblo last week. We were, yeah. I had to text you because we did a college tour there. And what's so funny is that they, like, basically the gist of it was because, you know, CSU Pueblo doesn't get a lot of love. Because, you know what? Pueblo, Pueblo is known to be a ghetto town. Who they have, knew? They have the safest campus <laughs> since 2020 in case anybody wants Just to know. Them. Like, they said yeah. it 15 times. They, li- they, they literally yeah. said, said that. So you, you know, I think the campus is actually pretty safe. It's over there on the... Uh, east side of town it's kind of away from everything yeah. you know so okay and they also took us down to the river walk for um dinner and it was super nice so i don't know why you talk so much shit the river about walk it. is beautiful isn't it yeah it's really cool they did a good job with the river walk mm-hmm. it's funny did you see that video not too long ago about the car going through the mall in pueblo to the food court i don't think i saw that no oh, really i'll show it to you uh, it happened I don't know, about a month ago. And I got this from everybody I know. I was like, look at Pueblo. I mean, yes, I come from a bad, bad, bad place. That's me. I come from the ghetto. What do you want me to tell you? You know what I mean? So Home sweet home. Um, <laughs> the, the the dorms there. Do you guys stay in the dorms? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. With the little skinny windows like a mm-hmm. prison? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, I, I had to actually send a video because the mat. Oh, I, said, I think yeah, I sent, sent it to me, you. Yep. Yeah, the mattresses were like plastic. And I was like, what is this? I tell you what, Larry, I almost wanted to pee the bed just because I could. <laughs> just because I could. And this poor guy, look how big he is. And he was on like a little twin mattress like this. His I said, feet are hanging Yeah, over. I said, I pictured him like Elf, you know, at the end of the night. It was, I, that was bullshit. Like, I hated it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, all right, welcome back to the college dorm days. Right. All I need is some rope lights and yeah. some like three day old pizza. And I'm set. I'm, yeah. I'm back in business. Where yes. did you go to college? Shattern State. Up okay. In, up in Nebraska in the Panhandle. So, Very nice. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a unique time up there. I, I had yeah. a blast. But yeah, going to Pueblo. Um, I'd gone there a couple times, had a family member who played football up there, and then playing there myself, <coughs> go once, seen it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, the, it was it was a cool time. Um, w- going back to the whole thing of like, oh, we're the safest campus. I was like, yeah, you have a sh- your own sheriff's department on campus. Like, I hope you would be the safest. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you got if you got people coming on campus, like, yeah. trying to do some stuff and, like, trying to go into the sheriff's, I'm like, that's probably not the – yeah. Uh, that makes sense, you know. Exactly. It was a crazy little time. So it was it was a cool little trip. We had some yeah, fun. Yeah, it was fun. So how we go into the, uh, the the campus to the, let's see, give it a, the south of that's a really, it's a pretty nice neighborhood mm-hmm. yeah. down there. But literally, if you go a couple blocks away, it's where the hardcore ghetto is. I mean, it's like Troy Avenue. You pull on mm-hmm. Troy to get in there. Keep going down Troy to south and then take a left at the loaf and jug. That's called Dog Patch, where my grandparents lived. That's, I mean... <laughs> So I've always said this, like when a car is stolen in Pueblo, I don't know why the cops just don't go to God, dog patch, you know? <laughs> why are they looking it's, anywhere It's else? there on cinder blocks on fire. That's where the fucking car is. You know what I mean? Well, I, th- I really do think they're trying to make it better. <clears throat> Pueblo is. They've made a lot of leaps and bounds. They've, yeah. They've done a lot of cool things there, you know, like that river walk. And they're, yeah. they're, doing, they're doing cool stuff. Um, next time you go, though, the coolest thing to do is down on uh, Union it's called the clink it's a hotel yes, we were right by that mm-hmm. did you go check it out no mm-hmm. because we had the cli- the kids with us and oh, it's like a yeah. bar too and they were yes. saying you can like spend the night in the old jail cells yeah they, they, they've redone all the jail cells to be hotel rooms yeah so, very cool it was, it super was cool, cool. Like, yeah let's go walk the river walk like don't mind the homeless people and i was like sure like we are <laughs> yeah we are set. <laughs> it wasn't too bad though no it was cool like i yeah. i had a blast and you know i think it was what's interesting about being there is um did you have the tarantulas when you were there no. So when we were, I knew guys who like who grown up in Pueblo, and they were they were talking about how, and I think it's the fall time. 
that they have the tarantula migration. Oh, sure. So you're like driving down the road and you just look across and you see what you think is a glove running across the road and it's a tarantula. Really? Right. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy. They'd um, take them to practice and they would um, just like, like your practice jerseys have like, you know, like that, that fabric material that they love. And so you just be sitting there standing next to, you know, you just have a tarantula just what? crawling across. No, the I did not know this. I was like, yeah, I was like, that's a no go for me. I'm, I'm, I'm good with fighting anything else yeah. except for tarantulas. No, I'm out. My yeah. friend Adrian Vosberg said it's like that going to Texas somewhere. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what he was saying, but he said, it looks like a carpet, like the, the ground is moving. Oh, that many of them. it's really, yeah. It's going to get some trinette. Tarantula Pudnania, is how we refer to it. So I don't know. I don't know shit about it, but I didn't realize it was like in Pueblo. I lived there for years yeah. and didn't know that. Yeah, there's there's some crazy crazy <coughs> stories and talking about the ghetto too. We went to the um, we went to a gas station there, and you walk in and this the security guard's there, and he has like the old school like John Wayne, just hammer pistol sitting on his belt. And as soon as he sees us walking up, and he just right on it and i was like dude you think we're gonna come in here and yeah. like rob this place like yeah yeah slight chance possibly but slight <laughs> chance yeah. this dude was ready to roll like his whole life flashed before, that's before all he knows eyes. jake that's what, all he knows what was the gas station i guarantee you i know it i, I don't remember <laughs> it, was like, it was right next to the marriott like where we were staying and it was oh yeah, it's a loaf and jug right by a burger king it's a loaf probably and jug. <laughs> good old <laughs> loaf and jug yeah dude when i moved to pueblo they, they said loaf and jug i'm like what the fuck is a loaf and jug i had never heard of the brand royalty, royalty. but it's royalty. everywhere in pueblo yeah. loaf and jug is that's there's like three 7-11s yeah. and the rest are loaf and jugs man really uh people in pueblo you love would loaf like and a loaf and jug uh, dude so it's like it's like our Seven Eleven. Like yeah, it's just like yeah. You walk no, in, we so, got Maverick Whoa. gas station. Oh, that's right. We're bougie. Yeah, we're, we're bougie. bougie. We're bougie. We're bougie. We're getting bougie. Those things are going up everywhere. We'll I get, know. We'll get bougie when we get a Bucky's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Don't they sell clothing and shit there too? I've heard like if you go and you spend less than forty five minutes, it's like un American. Like you go in and there's like just an entire wall full of like beef jerky, and mm. you can buy clothes. You can do. Pretty much everything you can, like probably give birth there. Honestly, yeah. like, who who <laughs> knows? All right, it's Bucky's. It, anything could happen. All your dreams come true. Get your liver taken out. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Well, shit. My parents went there for one of Nick's college games. I've already plays at UNC, where he formerly played at UNC. He's in the transfer portal right now. But they went down because he's playing at Lamar, and they stopped like at a at a Bucky's, and you like, I surprised we didn't get a Bucky's car while we were there. My dad brought back so much stuff. Um, like the little like like Yeti drink, whatever, like the all that kind all of stuff. All from Bucky's. Shirts, um, like the little jumping bean things, like all this stuff from Texas. Oh, I like, would be that person. I'd buy so much dumb shit. It's Bucky's the one little gopher for the logo, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So, yeah, like, something. Mm, yeah, okay. yeah. I've never yeah. seen. I've never been in one, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're they're building one um, in Colorado near the American Furniture there in Firestone or. Oh yeah, there. I think oh, I did wow. hear that too. Mm-hmm. Huh. It's going to be the biggest one in the United States. That's for nice. like really for like maybe a month, and then the other one that's being built is bigger than that one. So. Put it on our to-do list, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're getting old. Yo, yeah, yeah. convenience yeah. store, like. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go to that convenience store tonight. That it's, sounds amazing. It's like a National Lampoon's the first vacation where they're going to see the world's largest mud ball or whatever. That's this is how <laughs> this is how the world has gotten to be. Like the Bucky's oh, yeah. is now the new business. Good yeah. times, good times. Well, hey, let's get started. Uh, before we get started, though, I want to say welcome to the Blogger Podcast. If you're new to the podcast, what we do is we bring on a guest. Today is my man, Mister. Jake Norris. Boom, boom. Go. Uh, he's going to tell us three stories about his life. Now, here's the kicker. Two of these stories are true. One's either borrowed, made up, or it's embellished at the end. We're not going to ask what it is. We haven't been doing that dense. We've just oh, been really? You quit? We don't make oh. them tell us what it is. This is borrowed or whatever. But we don't want to know. At the end of the podcast, Densey and I are going to try and guess which one of these he's not being truthful about. So, um, right. you said you watched a few of these. Yeah, a couple. How are you, uh, how are you, how are you guessing? Um, I w- so far, I am O... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm one for two. Oh, uh, yeah. Or one for three. I'm sorry. I've, I've missed two of them. Um, You're doing better than Adam. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I listened to some of the early ones, and I was I was vibing as we're going. I was yeah. like, I for sure thought. I don't remember the exact uh, the detail, but I I think there was something maybe about a cow once. I don't know. I was It was when yeah. I was driving in downtown traffic. I was yeah. like, uh, yeah. I need to like zone in for a second yeah, or else yeah. I'm going to be on nine news tonight for doing something stupid. So <laughs> uh, I got to be honest. There's been a few people who came on here that have totally just killed it as to a point where the bull hooker was one I was convinced was right. It was true. Like I, they just totally got me. So mm-hmm. I think JD Gordon is so far the king of that. So watch really? that episode. 
If you guess it, you're a genius. Okay. Of course, Adam said he did. But yeah, anyway. of course you did, Adam. <laughs> All right, Dance. You want to read them off? All righty. We got Fort Lewis and then just Juan and Cigars and Showers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dancy, it's been so long since I've seen you. By the I way, know. by the way, we're enjoying Jack Daniels down on punch because I saw it. I didn't realize they made this shit still. So yes, you're probably pretty young to enjoy this, right? Have you ever had one of these? I'm not 21 yet, sir. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> he's bullshitting, is he bullshitting you. Me? Yes. Oh my God! Look at how good he is. I was already. I'm gonna lose this already. So yeah, you are. I already offered him liquor, and I was like, oh shit, I should. Have. <laughs> you told me old school, and I was like, God, is it Zima, Matilda Bay? Well, how far back did you go, go? Go get a cup. I got some purple passion. We're gonna get down on. <laughs> oh Dunsia. God, puke. Yeah. <laughs> Puke. <laughs> Puke purple. Uh, anyway, pick one out, Dense. Okay, well, I know how you think. You want to hear the best one last, yes. like your favorite um, title. And so I feel like maybe we're, we're thinking yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I feel like I'm going to start with um, Juan. Juan. All right. Yeah. Um, so um, I was fortunate enough to be able to play college football up at Shattered State. And I think I'm going into, I think it was like my red shirt sophomore redshirt freshman season i don't remember anyway in the springtime is is when the new recruits come to campus they get you know they sign with the college we're good to go so before we head to our spring session like our, our spring stuff uh or i'm sorry our summer stuff my head coach comes in he's like hey guys i'm gonna sign you your mentee for the upcoming fall camp the, the he's a big believer of having an older guy with one of the younger players, first time player shown on the ropes, make sure they need right. to be where they need to be. So he sits me down in his office and he's like, All right, Jake, we're uh um you're gonna you're gonna have Juan. And I was like, Who? Juan what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, You're gonna you're gonna have one. You're gonna have one. So I was like, All right, cool. Like, Football, what? right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, uh, all right. And I was like, Is there any particular reason why? Because he's grinning this entire time. He's like, Once you meet him, you'll know. And I was like, great like i was already a quirky dude as it is yeah um so we go through that summer all right and we you know we start texting a little bit and then he calls me one night and he's like hey um i want to know about some medical classes i can take and i was like oh for sure like what are you talking about i was like what do you want to be and he's like i want to be a brain surgeon Ooh. i was like oh okay. why are you here <laughs> like <laughs> this is not the school to go to be a brain surgeon <laughs> and then he's like actually i want to be a, a cardiac surgeon and i was like oh again why are you here yeah yeah so it, already from the get-go, like, I knew it was going to be interesting. So we're about two weeks away from the first week of August. That's when all the players report for camp. Juan calls me, and he's like, hey, man, I uh, I want to come up two weeks early. I want to get, like, acclimated to the area. And I was like, oh, for sure. Like, sounds good. And he's like, the only thing is I don't have a car. Like, I got in a car wreck on the way up um, to, like, some game or something. And I was like, well, one of my roommates, John Hansen, um, was – he was going to drive to Denver to take one of the players to the airport, to DIA, to fly home or f uh, for something. I was like, if you can meet John there, we'll bring you back. And he's like, for sure. So I didn't go on the trip to Denver. Okay, I had work in the morning, and I wake up the next day to go to work, and there's just this big dude laying on my couch, mouth wide open, just snoring. I was like, yeah. so I'm not going to wake him up. I'm going to go to work, come back, finally meet this guy, and I realize why my coach wants just a dude he's he's just different and he's like man i'm so excited to be here man he had kind of a list but his his saying was my guy he's like my guy i'm so excited to be here and i was like <laughs> let me know how that is in two weeks yeah so it comes time to eat like we're getting ready for dinner and then he gives me another sob story he's like man i put all this money into my car repair i i don't i don't got it and i was like okay as a mentor like my job is to be a good dude so i was like dude we got frozen pizzas downstairs. Like it was so many. We had like seven guys living in our house that summer. Like rent was like 150 bucks. It was right. awesome. And I'm just sitting there. I was like, yeah, just go ahead and eat, you know, pizza, do whatever. Like it's not a big deal. To like sum up this whole like connection he and I had, we um, Tanner Patterson out of Otis, Colorado, he and I would make dinners together just to save, you know, for lunches the next day because we both worked out of town. Uh, he was like, dude, can I have some? I was like, yeah, for sure. You can have a burrito. Four of them later, gone. So I was like, this is great. So it's finally time for him to move into the dorms. We're like, yes, please, go ahead, go. I will move you. I will take the day off, man. I, it'll, I'll, I'll uh, was move like you two in. weeks he stayed with you? Yeah, like, like two weeks, week and a half, something okay. like that. A long time. Yeah. A long time. To be eating mm -hmm. for free and all yeah. of that. Yeah, and then, you know, like I at, at the time, I was like, okay, like that. that's just what good humans do. You know, like he's in a tough spot. He's, yeah. he's nervous. 
Um, so we move them in. We are now in the middle of fall camp, and that's one of the hardest like things athletically I've ever done. Like it, your body hurts, you're you're mentally not there, everything's just not okay. So every day I we get back to the house, our house reeks. It is so bad. Like I I lived with um at that time it was five dudes. It was John Hansen, Tad, uh, Tanner Patterson, uh, Tavon uh, Tavon Wright, Lewis Smith, and I think it was either Trey Thornburg. Um, or another cat, I can't remember his name. We had a clean football house. Like you would think, like your traditional, like Blue Mountain State is going to be the party and nasty. No, we kept a very clean house. Great, great reference, by the way. Thank you, thank yes. you. Um, and uh, so I we're. Get it. Oh, you need to watch it. Dance. It's a fantastic show. Okay. Yes. All right. Thad, Thad Castle's worth the watch by himself. Oh, for sure. That's that's it's an amazing. Like that's what all kids watch before going to college, <laughs> especially college football, and they show up and like, where where's the goat house? And you're saying, what's it called? Blue Mountain State. It's a college. It's a it's a fictional college team. Uh, there, you know, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll get into okay. it later. But All right. It's you highly suggest that. Okay. that that yeah. should be like your Christmas Got yes. break. So anyway, okay. So we're we're you know we're, we get home and we're at this point we're fighting with each other. We're like we're calling each other dirty. You need to do your dishes. You need to take out your trash. So we're now a week and a half in. It's on a Wednesday, and our coach like calls us in all for a team meeting. He's like, dude, like you, like you guys have been doing really good as a team. We're going to give you Wednesday afternoon off. We're just going to have meetings. So everyone is like, oh, we're going to go sleep. And I was like, uh-uh, we are going to deep clean this house. Like you walk in, this thing had a shine. It smelled like fabuloso and like <laughs> love. Like it was, it was perfect, man. I was like, thank God we finally got rid of the stench. We go t- to dinner that night. We come back. It is at an all-time high of how bad it smells in this house. It seriously, I, 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 we thought something died. One's got a dead hook or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> so damn you, Juan. <laughs> so we're so we're just sitting there, and at this point, I'm like, this has to be a gas leak. It smells like rotten eggs. Like this is terrible. So my dad, um, <clears throat> recently a uh, um, retired firefighter, 30 years in Aurora. I'm calling him. I was like, Dad, should I just call the station and like see if they can roll? But I don't want lights and sirens. I don't want to be, you know, it's a small town. Dramatic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so we're sitting there. I'm like trying to like check the stuff, and I hear John yell from the basement. Found it we got going on here we go down and we have our gigantic um deep freeze and to the right 40 pounds of raw chicken sitting out when somebody was getting frozen pizzas out of the deep freeze lifted it put the bag got the pizza shut the lid Uh -uh. and went up it was in a brown paper bag we didn't see it and oh. so you see like, like oh. maggots and stuff like oh. swimming. Oh, it, was in a, it was in a tray. And so you just see just like this no. juice. So we're both holding it. We oh. go out to the back porch and we go to throw it away. And we spilled some of the juice. We had raccoons at our house like trying to like eat the oh, wood on the, on the back patio for it. So then I go to him the next day and I'm steaming pissed. And we sit down for breakfast and he's already hating life. Like camp sucks, but if you're a freshman, it really sucks. What position did Juan play? He played right tackle. So he and I actually, he and he's I big actually, boy. He, yeah, he's a tall dude, okay. tall dude. Yeah, big, big dude. And he and I, we ended up playing next to each other. Um, when like later, like later in the, in our careers. And I sit down and you know, he's just, he hates life. You can just tell. I was like, Juan, what did I do? And I was like, what the chicken? What? The chicken, Juan. Uh, what are you uh, talking about? I was like, when you were getting pizzas out of the deep freeze, did you put the chicken back? My guy, I, did, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, Juan, this is not time to bullshit with me right now. If you tell me that you that that you left the chicken out, I, I won't, won't make you eat it. Yeah, I'll, 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 I won't be as pissed. And he's like, my guy, I, I maybe. And I was like, this. I picked up my plate and like I left. I was like, I was so upset that Juan left the chicken in our house and i i was like at this point we're moving out like it was so oh you can't get that smell out man no oh, it was God. so bad oh man so i can't <clears throat> and oh yeah it was terrible it was terrible when they closed the kentucky fried chicken in fort morgan uh there was a place in town that bought the cooler from them you know what i mean mm-hmm. and i guess they'd left chicken in that thing oh. and, and yeah when they closed they just said fuck it and just left the chicken and i guess literally going in there people were just <laughs> Like it was, it was everything to to clean that thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And the people that took it cleaned it because you couldn't smell it when you go in there. Yeah. But I mean, to get it to that point, they said was like, oh my no. god. Yeah, like 
Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, no. And yeah. forty pounds of it. Oh, yeah, man. it was because we we would just buy in bulk, and that's the thing. Is yeah. like, you're living in college, like you're very rarely are you just cooking for yourself. You know, you're right. going in on this as a house together, and I mean, I, I love I love the guy. Like he and I. We, and also it's summer, right? Like it's oh, yeah. it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. It's hotter. Yeah. Than yeah. Oh so God. I I, uh, I love the guy. You know, to this day, like he. And there, I have a lot of Juan stories. Yeah. And um, how long had it been out for? Then, like, yeah, at least two weeks. Oh, oh God! Yeah, I was gonna at say least. it was two days. It's still gonna start. No, it was it was solid two weeks because we didn't because we did have um, maybe we had six people because we had somebody living in the basement and I was like, dude, how could you not smell yeah. this? And he's like, really? Like, honestly, like when you come right down the stairs, that's where it was. And then his room was in the back. It was just a basement that we converted to a bedroom. Yeah. Where, Kate, if you're listening to this, you didn't hear a thing. All right. We only had five <laughs> people in that house. <laughs> she sucked. Anyway, um, I, I like, uh, I was like, dude, how do you not do this? Like you are in sounds like you can cuss. Like, are you like mentally okay? And he's yeah. like, honestly, it just got kind of got like wafted up and like, it never came back to my room. Oh, like, when you walked by and he's like, Honestly, I just thought it was you guys being gross, like in the main living room. I was like, no. I feel like there's a difference between like bo smell and no, like sure. rotten oh, no. smell. Oh no, it's no, it's yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, like that's like dead bodies. I don't never smell like dead it hurts. Body. Like it, it really does hurt. And as soon as we got it out, like it was almost like a ray of sunshine, just like at <laughs> nine o'clock at night, just like came in our house, and we were like, thank yeah. You ever smell like a dead mouse in your house? Uh, yeah. I mean, have you ever done that? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. it happened to me like last year. I kept walking by. The little the little door between my kitchen and my dining room. And I, what the hell is that smell? And I, I finally I found it behind the, the microwave uh, cabinet because yeah. I'd start tearing shit apart over a mouse. I smell, yeah. you know, mm. and I'm like, what the fuck is that smell? Mm. So forty pounds of chicken is. It was it was so bad. Like I that's that's one of those smells you'll never forget. Like it's just like a really shitty. Oh like, God. Like you know, so and that's like when you like in like when you walk in any high school, I'm I'm always holding my breath at this point because yeah. some of the some of those students yeah like they they like their natural musk and it's like well and you no work with the football does. boys so they're all sweaty and extra <laughs> oh that's it's there are some days where i'm like boys Ugh. hygiene 101 yeah. is you need some help you need to go like soak your pads yeah and, like, either like oxyclean or acid either yeah. way like we got to get this smell there's some guys that are superstitious so they won't wash some things right mm -hmm. oh yeah oh you yeah. know they just wear them dirty the whole time because mm. it's a superstition mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a thing i had a guy so i i had a pl i played with a dude like that yeah. um tyler lewis called him gator and he his locker was like you didn't touch it you didn't it was honestly i think things were like growing like i he, can't get like the stank face off of me because i'm just like Ugh. Yeah, it was it yeah. was something that will forever change my life. Oh, was, 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 that's a chicken. Did that's, not expect that, Jake. Well done. Well, thank you. There, well done. There were not girls coming to this house at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, no, there were, and they were just like, "Oh, we didn't want to be rude." Like, like we're. I was like, "You guys." Suck. I've never been like, a girl in my life, but the first question would be like, "Did you kill another chicken here? <laughs> Is there a dead bitch here? Am I in trouble? Am I in danger right now? Because it smells like a dead hooker in here." <laughs> <laughs> they were they were probably like oh it's just another football house yeah. like, football. like it's no it's no 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 like, not no, this one this, uh, no this is not it we are a we are a fine institution at this house like we <laughs> we we, oh, we obey God. the law yeah. and plus you owe me a bunch of money that was expensive yeah <laughs> forty I mean, pounds of chicken yeah yeah I, I mean he he did save us a couple times like when we like it's just what it was when guys would quit and we'd have guys in the house or guys would graduate and they'd be like, Oh yeah, I'm going to find a roommate and never did. Like we were at a point where it was just John and I, John Tanner and I, and we were like, we're not going to be able to split this rent. And he came in like save the day. And I was like, as he should, he yeah, owed yeah. you. Well, yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. dude, we, we got to set some, some boundaries um, when it comes to like cooking. Cause like <laughs> he would, his dumbass would. I woke up one day and I saw smoke coming from underneath my door, and I was like, "What the f are you doing, Juan?" And I go out, and he's like burning the skin off of chilies, like because Tan, because Tanner's like he's all about authentic Mex Mexican food, and Juan's like, "Dude, Taco Bell, Taco John says it's not authentic." I was like, "No shit, yeah, 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 yeah I don't need you. Bad. I don't need you setting off a, like starting a fire in this house." And he was like, he was one of those like you had to buy all the all the like all the supplies and all the groceries, and then he would make it. And then he'd have like half of it and you'd just be like, oh, I don't have any left over. Yeah. So he was just sitting there just burning the shit in our house. He wasn't even living with us at that point. I was like, one, out. Like, I'm done. <laughs> We're not doing this shit again. It was, it was, it was intense. But 
much love for the dude. Um, I think he's in Denver now. Um, sent me a really nice message when he was done playing. So uh, it's just one that I'll always that'll sum up one. And is he, yeah. on, your, is he on your Facebook at all? Uh, do you, you don't you don't have contact with them? Is what I'm asking. Is Juan gonna watch this? Is what I'm yeah. getting to. They're probably, and I hope Chicken he does. Like, like, like I know, yes. like I I love the dude. Like I and yeah. I told the story in, in like in front of other people with him there. Like I I yeah. love the dude. He just I I had to take care of him a little bit in college. He just needed it, yeah. and um, there are days that it, it really oh. pressed me a little bit. <laughs> just like I I don't learn a lot and also that's just where it comes down to be a good human being and yeah just also if coach tells you to do something you just do it like there's no yeah. fans or butts and so he he and i you know we had some good conversations and just a lot of uh come to jesus moments yeah. but that yeah. one i was like just from day one i was like damn it like oh, here wow. we go it builds strong relationships right mm -hmm. build strong something <laughs> yeah. Yeah. strong noses but i uh if all the stories like this you're gonna make it tough because i'm a big uh Detail guy. I look for yeah, lack of detail. So you do. You do. Oh, yeah, this, gonna, this is, is. Okay. What do you think about that, Dens? I, I don't know. I, I think it's true. <clears throat> yeah? I think it's true. Yeah. 40 pounds of chicken is a lot of chicken. Unless there's a you line. Know what? Maybe there, it was it's... only 10 pounds. Maybe yeah. that's the line. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. 40 pounds of chicken. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a lot insane. of chicken. For sure. Yeah. 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 I, I liked it. I, I like it. Cause I like, I, it I like those growing up stories, those mm -hmm. uh, coming of age. I didn't see it coming either. That kind of threw me for a loop. Right. Oh, yeah, neither did we. That yeah, for that sure was, was a dead hooker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, well, was especially if you're in the basement, you're walking by it every day. I mean, you, yeah. can't, you can't be nose blind to something like that for long. No. You know what I mean? It's not. No. And I, yeah, I think, I think who was living down there, I think it was Trey Thornburg, and he's from Ainsworth, Nebraska, and he's another good dude. Like, I just don't think, you know, I also don't think he was. I think he was just used to it. Like, you know, yeah. you get to that point where you're like, nose blind. I was like, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, I took my socks off. I, I, did, I really yeah. didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit chillier down here, maybe. Yeah. Right. That's it. No. All right. Well, I like All it. All right. So. Uh, got, I know which one you're going to pick. Okay, Fort Lewis. Fine, fine. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were saying cigars and showers for last. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Because I'm a this sucker guy, for great titles. Yes, I really, yeah, he I'm is. Like, and yes. when he knows a great title, he wants to say See, me personally, I would have picked it first. Right. Because I'm just so, you know, I want to hear cigars and showers that's great mm -hmm. but i know this you know guy. what i've been right so many times though because usually that's the, the the killer story i know they, you are right save it for last all right because they're always proud about that title so it's yeah. a great title we'll, we'll find out all right okay. Fort, Lewis. Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis. all right so this was so you know a lot like all these stories are going to be about football because was you know it was, a, it was a cool time in life I, right. I was there for six years um had an extra year because of all like covid and all that kind mm. of shit and so um fort lewis is the the first time i ever traveled all right, and I, I was so pumped. Like your first year as a red shirt, very seldom do you travel unless you're like a dude who's like in case they need something. So, um, this is my second year there, and I'm on the travel roster. Like that was I was like a kid on Christmas morning when I found out. I was so pumped, and so where we travel to Fort Lewis, and to give you guys kind of like an idea Which of what is travel, far from where you were. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we bust everywhere. The only time we flew was to California when we played humble and just got absolutely smacked. But that was a <laughs> that's a different story. That's okay. a that's a long one. But anyway, so to give you guys kind of like a like an idea of like what travel looks like, we typically we leave on like Thursday morning, all right, and we play Saturday. So I mean, we we get a couple days. So that way, it's not like high school where you just like go maybe the day before, like right. the day of. Like we we have some time. You you want to get acclimated to the area. So we're we're traveling. And we we stop in Loveland for all of our meals. All right, we stop at Pizza Ranch. Pizza Ranch sucks. Okay, I Ooh. hate it. All oh, right, it I'm, makes me sick. Really? Oh, I'm, I I don't know what it is. It's basically like like a pizza buffet place, like a CC's. Like yes. if kind of like if if like Pizza Hut had like extreme diarrhea and they're like, <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> serve it on some thin crust and like like I can still taste the hot. Um, Caesar salad dressing because I like that first time I ate so much. It, it's literally it's chicken, like 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 fried chicken and pizza, and then like dessert dessert pizza. The weirdest combination. I ate so much of it because all the guys were hyping it up. All the older guys were like, "Yeah, dude, you want to eat so much? Like, you're on a long bus ride." I thought I was gonna shit myself on the <laughs> way there because we, we, we had charter buses and right. like they have the bathrooms in the back. But the number one rule. Is you don't shit on the bus unless you're Don Watt, our athletic <laughs> trainer, who's like like a dude. He's the only one who had to pass. So like I'm sitting in the front of the bus, like dying. So, so Sam, so Sam, who yeah. I with, he and I were bus buddies, which is a dumb 
an idea. We're like two massive human beings next to each other. I should have gotten like a wide receiver or something just so we had some room. Yeah. I was bouncing. I thought I was like on the bus, like first trip, and he's like beating the shit out of me. He's like, you need to knock it off. I'm trying to sleep. It's like we get to the hotel like 1 a.m. Like it wasn't like, oh, we're here like 8 o'clock. It's still sunlight. No, you have no idea where you are. You have no cell service. Crying my eyes out, all right? Like this sucks. <laughs> so pizza, the pizza ranch in Loveland closed for like health reasons. Did like, it? When, last year when we went there for baseball, I asked the coach, like, what happened to this place? And he's like, yeah, they closed however many years ago because of health code violations. Like, I can tell. Like, I know <laughs> shit. When we would go there, I would get out and I'd walk to the coals and take a shit the entire time. Or Are just you like walk serious? around. Because I was like, I'm not going to go in and eat because like that's like rude. Like, they're not going to pay, you know, for me yeah. if I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, yeah. I hated it. Like, it was terrible. But anyway, so we get to the hotel like 1 a.m. And so now it's like Friday morning. All right, you wake up, you have breakfast, you go and have like a walk through in like the parking lot, ballroom, whatever it is. Um, and then you go up to your room and you you go, you change out into like whatever your practice gear you're going to wear, you go to the college and that's yeah. that's where you do your normal stuff. Um, you get back and you start having meetings. Um, you have like a team meeting, offensive meeting, um, while defense is having their meeting and then you have position meetings Then you go and eat. So either the meals catered into the hotel. Don't tell me pizza ranch. Oh, God, no. Okay. No, God, no. <laughs> So either the meals either the meals catered in or like we'd go out to like a restaurant and eat. After that is done, you get back to the hotel and it's your time. Do whatever you want. So I'm rooming my first time, Matt Vargas. Awesome dude. I th- um from California. Um taught me a lot about being a man. Like he he was he was a good dude. Um and he's a tight end. So I was like the odd man out for offensive uh, for the offensive line. And I was like number 9 or something or however it worked out like I had a room with a tight end. Ate all of my beef jerky. Matt, if you listen to this, I'm still pissed about this. All right? <laughs> What's up, Matt Vargas, by the way? Yeah. It's bitter. Have fun being a, like, I hope you're doing good being a strength coach. Yeah. But I'm still pissed about the <laughs> beef jerky. Anyway, so I have this, like, so my dumbass packs, like, I'm going camping. All right. Like, I have this entire, like, I have a duffel bag with all of my clothes and a duffel bag with all of my snacks. Like, because the guy's like, you want to pack a bunch of stuff. So he's the type of guy that's like, here, can I get, can I get some beef jerky? And I was like, yeah, buddy, here, have, here, have a piece. Wow, man, you're not even letting me get it from the bag. All right, Matt, here you go. Like, you're older, whatever. And he's just eating it. I look over, I was like, good beef jerky? Mm hmm. Okay, like, like, I was like, okay, this, this is the thing. This is the, what they're going to do to the rookies. They're, they're, this is like your rite of passage. Yeah. No, he, I, I talked to him about it years later. He's like, why don't you just ask for it back? I was like, I, I figured by me saying like, oh, how's that beef jerky? How's my beef jerky? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Does it get back? He so just anyway, kept eating it all? I ate the entire bag. You. I uh, stared you and licked my lips the whole time. I thought those were, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting there like, I'm, I'm drooling. Thirsty. I'm like foaming. I'm like, yeah. yeah so um, I'd get him back though because he's one of those guys that was like, probably OCD or something. He had to do 100 push-ups every night. And I'd sit there and he'd get done and be like, I was like, how did it feel doing 97? Yeah. I did 100. Mm. No. I know it's hard for you to count, Matt, but that was 97. He 100% did 100. But anyway, <laughs> um, so this is – so now he tells me, he's like, all right, we're, we're leaving. And I'm like, I'm a goody t shoes. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, we're going to go to the gas station. I was like, we can do that? And he's like, why wouldn't we? We're like, we're, like we got a game tomorrow. Like, we got to have fuel in our body. Like, let's go. I was like, all right. Like, I, I have, like, the FOMO. Like, I don't want to, like, miss out. Right. And so it's, like, the entire offensive line, our quarterback, wherever our quarterback went, the offensive line went. That's just that's just a rule, you know? Yeah. We have some trainers come with us. So we go up to the front desk lady, and we're like, hey, where's the closest gas station? She's like, if you just go out to the doors, take a left, it's 0.2 miles away. We're like, oh, for sure. So we go out, take a left. We walk 1.8 miles oh, shit. to this gas station. Just middle of nowhere. It's like we were walking along a highway. Like, what in the fuck are we doing? Where are we going? We finally get to the gas station, you know, do your thing. I was like, okay, guys. I was like, are guys going to like, buy bottles? Like, what are we, like, what are we, no. It was just like Doritos, chips, Oh, God. Whatever. No, whatever they wanted. So was now, Uber not a thing then? Is that why we're not Ubering? Like, not what? for like yeah. 17 people. No, oh, that's yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> so now we're walking back. You know, we're having a good time. It's dark. You know, you can't really see anything. You got the highway lights on. I mean, it was a super weird place to have like a highway going. And we're... We're coming, we're like, like we're going down, and we hear this yelling. We're like, what is going on across the highway? Because it was only, it was like a one lane. So it was like, there, like you could look across. There's this dude, Lieutenant Dan style, no legs, in a wheelchair, wheeling next to the road. What? And we're like, no way are we seeing this shit right now. Like, there's no way. 
and he's just kind of like drunkenly whatever and he looks over at us and he's like what the f are you guys looking at i'll come over there and find i'm just going no crazy. no i don't think you will sir we're like <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <two most. laughs> and so like, like we had some like we had some dudes like guys who like probably did some wild shit back in their day like i don't know matt vargas was one of the scariest dudes like i ever played with like he was a guy like you didn't want to piss off matt and when Matt's like, guys, we got to go. And I was like, shit. Mm -hmm. So we start going. And we, I'm like looking back. And this guy's, he's, this guy's like literally pulls out like just a knife. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Pulls out this knife. And he's sitting there. And he starts pointing at us. He's like, I'll come over there if whatever. Like, he was just going on and on. I was like, holy shit. Like, what is, like, what is happening? <laughs> this hits like this debris that's on the side of the highway and falls straight forward on the ground and he's like trying to crawl into his no. wheelchair but it's like wheeling backwards no and i was like dude i was like look at i was like do we go and help like yeah. dude, like what in the f are we doing? <laughs> and they're like do you want to get stabbed and this guy's like nicer he's like if you come over um i'm gonna make a statement i know you guys are following me um they've always been following us like this dude is crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. were you in pueblo no. <laughs> I would say if, if he were, his name's Phil. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, he's fine. Here's, here's he's my stab wound for four yeah. no shit. Holy shit. And it was, it was seriously like, the, like, I was like, this is how all road trips are. And like, dude, they get better. And I'm like, <laughs> not a chance. Like, this is insane. <laughs> so like, we're kind of freaked out. And like, we keep running. And I kept looking back. And like, I was like, why the f are you looking back? I was like, because this across the highway and just be like rolling downhill because he was he was going up like uphill we were going we were walking downhill this dude was gonna have like flares going <laughs> in like one hand the knife in the other is just gonna be wheeling isn't like, there like a, a scary movie where the person like crawls on their arms real fast well, i'm sure to, yeah, yeah, yeah i mean i feel like i'm seeing some sort of like <laughs> haunted movie <laughs> go so, ahead so, i'll go out yeah, no, like it was like, um, was that Cool Runnings, that like that Disney movie? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was like. A bobsled team is gonna like come yeah. it down and yeah. like coming to get us. But this guy isn't so cool. No, he, he wasn't. He was no. he was having a tough day, I think. And yeah, it was like, should we get back to the hotel? And we, I'm like, we're like freaked out, and like, of course, we're not gonna tell the coaches because then they're gonna get pissed. Yeah, right? and we go to the front desk lady, and we're like. Hey, thanks for the directions, by the way. We walked, like, damn near two miles. And she's like, what do you mean? It's just right around the corner. We, we're like, what? She pulls out her phone, and there's a gas station tucked behind oh, stop. the hotel. I was and wondering I, if you went the wrong way. And I, I was like, I was like, what? Like, you said go out to the hotel and take a left. And she's like, oh, I meant to say go out, face the hotel, and take a left. And I was like, oh, fuck. stop. It you was, bitch. It was, Why I was. Why would she do that? Why? 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 Because she was like, she, they got it. They she, got it. She was it. a Skyhawk fan. She wanted us to fuck. She knew that <laughs> Lieutenant Dan's stepbrother was going to be out there. Just I was just going to say, she set you up. Uh -huh. it, it, she yeah. was the, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, yeah, they sent you to your death. The you know decoy? I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 And she, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan works for the other people, and he's seriously, just like getting was, you in shape. I... It, it seriously it freaked me out like i was like for sure like we're gonna see this guy in the news in the morning like some broke away from some ins like a oh, same asylum so like, did you just like run away and like basically left him in the dust no we were just like all oh, right dude like have a good night and he's like he's like i'll show you a good night and like we're like uh we're good like <laughs> like we're, we're headed we're, we're going back home he's like i'll find where you live and i was like okay like <laughs> We're good. And that's when we're like, all still trying to be friends with them. Well, do you okay? Do you want to be have part of the story where there's you and sixteen other dudes that are football players? You're all massive men, but three of you get your ass kicked by some dude in a wheelchair who stabs you. <laughs> dude, it would be that'd be a tough way to like start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's where you lose all credibility. No, really. Like this and, guy with no legs took us all out. Listen, listen. Confidence is key in these situations. <laughs> and this crazy some bitch, right? He's, he, yeah. he's got nothing to lose. No. He, no. When I, Started, on meth i started budweiser mark Ruta was showing me the sales rep round we were the grocery car here and mark we're walking by this this chick and she's she's a crackhead we can tell she's a crackhead but she's got a patch on her eye yeah we get like barely a few feet from her mark goes hey larry hey larry Yarr. <laughs> and we hear her go fuck you guys we go in the liquor store she shows me a few things. We walk out, and she starts walking, like, briskly towards us. What do we do? Like, two scared girls, go, 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 go. We start, <laughs> we run to the bed, bed, close the doors, and take off, because, yarrr, who knows what she's going to do, dude. But it was, yeah, uh, because I was like, she can hear you. 
work. And he's like, he gives a shit. Well, we give a shit. That's who, Jake, because we ran like scared bitches. Oh, She's God. blind, not deaf. <laughs> oh, she's only blind in the one eye that we knew of. So we get back, and Mike Whaler, rest your soul, Mike Whaler, is on the phone with this lady. She's going to sue Budweiser. She's going to own the Quizadales, all this shit. He's just pointing at us like, fuckers. <laughs> So, yeah. She called? We were in a Bud van, Densia. Oh, fuck. We were in a rolling oh, God. billboard. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I hope you're the dude when he answers. He's like, hi, matey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she came onto the hussy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Start the stabbing. What did you think about that story, Dense? Oh, God. Okay. Well, first of all, this is funny because I've heard you talk about Pizza Ranch before. It came up one time. About something, and you do hate Pizza oh, Ranch. I hate like it. you hate Pizza Ranch. Pizza, Pizza Ranch did you dirty? Yeah, and so, I, I've so never so had it. Bitches. But he, this guy hates it. So I, I, I kind of, I know that you hate Pizza Ranch. I don't know. I've never heard the rest of the story, but I will say I do know you hate Pizza <laughs> Pizza Ranch. <laughs> I, I hate it. I've never so heard of much. it. I've never been to one. That's yeah, it's in love. Count Lovely. your blessings. Dude. Okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it was. It, it seriously. Were you, was everybody sick from it or just you? Uh, I quickly learned that, like, some dudes wouldn't eat. And then, like, some of them are smart, and they would just go and buy, like, Freddy's, which is right next, like, right next mm. door. And I was like, oh, I should do that. But, like, I, this is my first time traveling. Like, I'm a yeah. dumbass. Like, Give uh, me some like, pizza. I, yeah. I was like, I don't want to, like, break the rules. Well, how often does pizza do you dirty? You know what I mean? It's not like a shitty taco or something. It's know. pizza. It was, I think it was just, like, I've never seen pizza in, like, KFC-style chicken cooked next to the same place. <laughs> and, like... It was ser- oh. it was seriously so sick. Like even the salad was gross. Like the cheese was just not like moldy, but you just had that like, rank taste. Like this cheese has been sitting out here all please, day. If they have Yelp, please go oh, do a Yelp and review. Then, oh. And then the um, what is that? The vitamin water. Oh my god, I can't drink the like the dark purple one anymore because that that's the taste. Like I I would just go in and get a cup before I decided like I'm not going to do this in my body anymore. I'm just going to go in and get a cup. <laughs> And the smell of it, like it's still like right now, like just right here in my stomach, I can feel it. It is like, um, oh, I hate Pizza Ranch. Well, if there's so anything much. else we learned from the story, don't go to Pizza Ranch. It's blowing my mind because I've always had the uh, the saying I've lived by my whole life is pizza's like sex when it's bad. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's still pretty good. <laughs> yes, you know? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's, uh, I don't know how. Like Pizza Hut used to have yeah. the buffet. I mean, like, yeah. come on, but. Like I'm a goat, dude. I, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll eat anything, bro. I mean, look at me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, same, right? You, you cut me it. open. You're gonna find an old boot and a fucking license plate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a shark. You know? Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. The girl I used to date was like, he doesn't. He, he doesn't give a shit. He'll eat everything. <laughs> we can get hey. here. That's fine. You know? Hey, Larry, eat that chicken out of your basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we all the Rockefellers around here? We can't eat the chicken. <laughs> Cook that shit up. Lati freaking da. Looks like I make friends with the raccoons today, you <laughs> snubby bastards. <laughs> maggot schmaggot. <laughs> yeah. Just like rice. I've seen the Lost Boys. Oh. Right? All right. Oh, God. That was good. I, I like it. I like the story. I, you know what I like? Because it's got the crazy guy in it. That's, yeah, you love yourself mm-hmm. a crazy guy. I do. I just. Mm-hmm. Well, and we kind of went all over. Like, we started at the very beginning and mm-hmm. ended with, I didn't know where it was going. So, yeah, good job. I, no, I. Durango's a cool place. Lieutenant Dan. I can lo- a lot of call him Lieutenant aye, aye. Casey, dude. But the show's <laughs> crazy. The further south in Colorado you go, the worse it gets, man. Oh, yeah. That's all it is, dude. It's, yeah. Then you yeah. hit New Mexico. It's dude, worse. Get, stop in Las Vegas, New Mexico in time. The armpit of America. <laughs> Please do. We were rolling by because that's where New Mexico Highlands is, and we were playing there. This is a little side story real quick, if, that, if that's yeah. okay. Yeah. And we're like, we're like lost, all right? This place is sketch. And we're rolling. We have two charter buses that go. And it's loud. And, like, the directions to get to the stadium, we're all turned around or whatnot. And we have to roll into this neighborhood. And I'm, like, trying to get nobody locked in, man. Like, I was, like, I was like your Disney movie. Like, I had the <laughs> headphones on. We're going to pre-practice. I'm straight ahead. And I look out to the window. And I see this lady. Um, she's got a cigar in her mouth. You got two pit bulls next to her with, like, the big chains, you know, whatever. Oh, and she's her. just flipping off the bus as we're going by. <laughs> And I was like, and I was like, boys are not in Kansas anymore. Like, oh, this place. Like we had a, we had an old coach who'd always joke, be like, guys, you know, pack your clocks, pack your nines. We're going into battle. And it's in Pueblo. Pueblo is good. The state hospitals in Pueblo, bro. Oh, true. I've always had the theory that the state hospitals in Pueblo because if they get too full, they start to let a few of them out because they blend in. <laughs> 
like yeah, there's, there's Roman, there's <laughs> NPCs, just like there's, oh, it makes God. Pueblo Pueblo. It's like Florida. Yeah, like, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. But what was got cool crazy too? I, I ran into cool crazy. You know, mm. I like me some cool crazy. I'd have to show you the dance later. Um, there's a guy named Carl. God bless Carl. He lost his son in a car wreck, and he didn't take it well, obviously. Uh-huh. So Carl started doing hardcore drugs, you know. But he was safe as milk, man. He was friendly. <laughs> but he would dance with every woman in that fucking club. <laughs> like, he didn't care if she's with somebody. And he's an older guy at the time. I say he's by my age back yeah. then, but almost 50. And it's funny because no guy got mad because it was Carl. But he did this little dance where he, <laughs> like, nobody knew how to dance this guy. So my mom came up for my birthday one year. Oh, no. And uh, we all go out and Tim DeSillis with her. <laughs> and he's all, hey, Larry. And she, he's always doing this. He's just fidgety as she's like, is this your mom? I go, yeah, it's my mom, Mary. Would she like to dance? I'm like, she'd love to. <laughs> I made her go dance. And she's doing this dance and she's looking at me and Carl's doing a little <laughs> I'll get him to show you. He did this little shuffle and shit. And dude, everybody just accepted it. Nobody heard him. But he's fucking, you know, yeah. crazy. Did him after he was dancing with a real chick or a meth out no. imaginary no, one? Yeah. No, he didn't care. Shit down. He didn't care. And if someone, uh, <clears throat> we're going to get out. We got to get going. But one day they come back to me and they like, you got to see this dude. There's, they called him Disco Chris. He was from New York, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he, he'd show like the John Travolta, oh, the, the fucking hair coming out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Honest to God, he would, like, run and slide on his knees and do the fucking, he would disco dance. Well, Carl took it as, like, oh, not today, Satan, you know. Yeah. This is my house, dude. So Carl <laughs> sits there dancing next to him, too. And he's fucking disco Chris. Dude, it was the most, I wish, I wish these cell phones had, vis- uh, that had existed back then because I would need this podcast. They dance mean, off. Yeah, they had to yeah. dance off. Dude, and it yeah. got fucking heated, bro. Like, oh, you know. God. And everyone in that club was like, oh. This is Carl's house, Rocking bitch. And rolling. <laughs> okay. Rocking and rolling. Fuck yeah, that. so that's why I like that story. I like the story oh, about God. crazy because you know what? You're not going to hurt that dude, right? Mm-hmm. Right. You you can't. You're no. You're 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 altogether young man. You know what I mean? You. you He's going to fuck you up. Yeah, that's that's yeah. those are people you don't want to mess with. Yeah. Because they're yeah. going to like pull out some shit that you had. And you're no like, you didn't know they had it in them. No, mm-hmm. they're just gonna they're gonna pull out like a sword or something, and they didn't have any pockets or something. Like it's gonna be some <laughs> yeah. like, wild. But then again, if the cops show up, there's 17 of you. And a dude in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's all, help me. What defense do you going to do? Like, <laughs> no, he's probably going to be like, you guys are the ones that did Kennedy. You're not going to do me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Lieutenant Casey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. God. That was great. You're doing, you're doing awesome, man. Uh, last but not least. Oh, yeah. Cigars and showers. Bring it on. Uh, I feel like showers. we need a drum roll. Uh, all righty. So <laughs> this is, this like, the last story I really had of college. This is the last game we played. All right, so we're great story for the last story then. Yeah, yeah. So this is the last game ever. All right, and I'm uh, we're playing up at Black Hill State, and there's there's like a I don't know. There used to be like a rivalry, like when I was playing. Like things have changed. You know, the conference has changed. Mm-hmm. They're 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 a pretty pretty good football team. But when we were there, man, they it was one of those like they wanted it to be a rivalry, but like before um, one of the games. Mm-hmm. We're warming up and they run by and they're just hooping and hollering. And it is the most badass quote I've ever heard was from our offensive coordinator. He just yells, he's like, um, he yells, uh, don't you hate it when little brother starts to talk? And I was oh. like, fuck yeah. Like, <laughs> this game's over. Like, let's yeah, go. Yeah. But anyway, so we're, we're playing up at Black Hills and I knew my career was done. Like, I had no aspirations of going to uh, um, the NFL. Like, I wasn't getting any looks. Like, it wasn't my goal. Like, I knew. Like, I wanted it to be the end. I didn't want to be you know, holding out onto a dream or something. I wanted to be, like, walking off the field, make a fucking movie type of, like, Still that feel feeling. your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Well, that, and just, like, knew that I was done. You know, right. I didn't want there to be, like, that hope of, like, what what happens next. Right. And so, um, you know, I you know I had a lot of people that there who, like, you know, cared about me and all this stuff. So it was, like, it was a good thing. So we go into the game, and um, we and we beat them. I don't know, 50-something to 9, 56 9, something like that. You know, we, we, we piss-pound them, and I'm a... Is after the game, you know, I get done saying, you know, love you to everybody. And um, my mentee that year, so it's not one, all right, new mentee, uh, his name is Isaac Abramson. And he lives, he's out of Parker, Colorado. What's uh, up, Isaac? Yeah, what's up? What's up, big man? Um, he's a good dude. And his dad works for some company um, that they would get gifted cigars. And he had the Navy SEAL scar. So the dudes who took out Bin Laden. Yeah. This dude, the, this these group of guys, this company, the cigar company said, hey, we want to have a cigar that has like the Navy, like all the Navy SEAL stuff on it. So they would fly them down to wherever, like Nicaragua, wherever it's at. And they would take them to a, 
uh, tobacco plant and or our farm or whatever and they would be able to pick whatever leaves they want and that's going to be the ones so before we left on that trip isaac came up to me he's like here's like here's like a thank you man for like everything you've done for me so i i have this sweet cigar and he's like honestly he's like you're probably not going to be able to um have it like after because i didn't have like like the you know humidor or humidifier like whatever the hum whatever you keep right. cigars in i can't remember the name but anyway humidor. Yeah, so he would, uh, he's like, dude, do what you want with it. And so, like, I knew, again, that I was done. But in the aspect of, like, I know I can't get in trouble, all right? So, like, a couple years before, Joe Burrow had that sweet-ass picture after he won the the national championship Mm -hmm. where he's sitting on the couch and they have the camera go by and he's just sitting there looking at the cigar. So we're in this locker room, and they're tiny locker rooms. Like, we're in, like, the track and field and cross-country locker rooms. And the offense and defense are split, you know, and I'm, I get all the, the spat off of my cleats, all the tape, and I'm just sitting there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to celebrate, man. Like, I had a hell of a career, um, had a lot of memories. So I, I go into the showers with the boys. It's one of those, like, bay style, you know, all the shower heads are on the outside of the walls. And we're just right. in there, you know, just showering. I light up the cigar. I said, you know what? This is it, man. I, I'm, I'm living life. And quarterback uh, Dalton Holst, he, he comes in, and it was his last game, too. Mm-hmm. Austin Rapp, um, um, Justin Calderon, a lot of those, like the, the O-line that I played with, um, Cole Thurn, it's like all these guys come in the in the showers, man. We're just, we're sitting there, we're just, you know, reminiscing. Like, this is the last one, you know? Like, we're, this is the last time we're going to be in a is shower right? with yeah. dudes, you know? And so I had the cigar, and they're like, passing on over. I was like, shit, all right. So we start passing the cigars, and we have this, uh, this freshman kid uh, who runs in the locker room, eyes wide open into the shower. He's like, guys. Whoever has a cigar, put it out. And I was like, why? Like, who cares? And he's like, Coach Long is pissed about whoever has it. Learned a fun fact that day. Steam carries smell. With it being a tiny locker room, the entire hallway was steamed from all showers running. And it was wafting into this place. So my dumb ass is sitting there. And I was like, okay. Like, you know, I hear like the the good voice and bad voice. And the bad voice is like... Okay. What's worse they're going to do? Like, yeah. they're not going to cut you. Like, yeah. you're not going to take away your scholarship. Like, right. it's, it's, it is what it is. <clears throat> but then I was trying to work for the athletic department after because I didn't know what my life was going to be after. Right. So I was like, okay, like, I, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I knew I'm going to be a has-been, but, like, I at least want to still be someone involved so I don't yeah. get, like, super sad and shit. And so I was like, okay, if I don't put it out and they get in trouble, it's going to, like, be bad. Mm-hmm. If I keep it going, then it's going to be, like, even worse. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's just, yeah. just going to suck. And so I was like, all right, whatever. So... We all, you know, one last time, you know, we're feeling, um, we're feeling great. And so I put the cigar out, throw it away. And, uh, I go out into the hallway now and I didn't think it was honestly that bad. I was like, all right, they're overreacting. And I get out there and I was like, Ooh, oh shit, this shit stinks. <laughs> and like all the trainers, like they have their, they have their shirts over their mouths and oh, they're God. pissed by the, <laughs> the head trainer, Don. And he's like, whoever did that is a jackass. And I was like, yeah, f- uh-huh. whatever. Find him and, and cut him, coach. Find him and cut him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this this dude deserves to take the hill. Like, yeah. that's... Um, and so, they were like, guys, this stinks. And I was like, okay. I was like, guys, don't worry. Like, I'm a big dude. What does every big dude have to bring on a road trip? A can of Febreze. You just have to. You know, your shoes to you got a little something. So then, my mind, I was like, this is perfect sense. I'm just going to empty an entire bottle of Febreze. Oh, God. So you have like a smell of like a sweet, sweet cigar mixed with clean linen Febreze. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so then I forget that our girls' volleyball team is playing a match there that night. <laughs> and I just hear them hyping themselves up in, you know, in the locker room, and then they bust through the doors running out to go get on, um, to run down whatever to get to the court. And they're like, what is that smell? And I was like, I don't know, cologne. Like, yeah. I don't know what you Forty want pounds to do. of chicken. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like, it's it's fine. Yeah. Do you guys <laughs> smell something? No, it smells good. What are you talking about? So I knew my coach was pissed, and he was out by the buses at that point. And like, I'm going home with like family. Like, I'm not, I'm not going back with the team. We got a hotel up there, you know. And so we're, um, they were serving these sweet burritos that we would buy from whatever place there in town. And it was like a Qdoba or Yakudoba style thing. Yeah. And so, and I knew he was pissed. And so I go over to him and he was like my head coach, but also my position coach. And so like, if I pissed off my position coach was also pissing off the head honcho guy. And 
I go over and kind of had my head down. I was like, hey, coach. And he comes over. He's like, you played a really good last game. I was like, oh. I was like shocked. I was like, oh, thank you, coach. He's like, looks at me. He's like, do you know anything about this cigar? <laughs> and I looked at him. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, coach. He's like, <laughs> no. He smiles at me. He's like, they figured and patted me on the shoulder. And that's it. Off we went, man. That's that it. it. So no, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Not really. I mean, they they'll talk about it every once. It was, um, gosh dang, uh, it was a Division two. Their coach got in a ton of trouble um, for like their players were smoking cigars on their campus, and they have a no tobacco policy. And so the coach got um, he got suspended for the first game of the playoffs. And I was oh, like, shit. oh, that wow. would have happened to him. I would have really felt like an asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, so I'm happy that didn't. Um, didn't happen. Like I, trickle down. Yeah, yeah. and so I, I felt like a jackass, but um, I well, nothing ever happened from it. So that's it uh, makes a great story. So two questions: Is he going to watch this podcast? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> does he? Does he know now? Has he ever found out? Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I told okay. Him. Okay. I told him. He's like, yeah. He's like, I. He's like, I know. He's like, I, I didn't want anything bad to happen. And I was like, oh, I appreciate you being a real dude because I didn't know how severe it was at that point. And I was right. like, oh, like. I was like, I don't think there's gonna be smoke damage. Like they're right. just gonna think the locker room right. stinks. I was like, I was like, coach, I emptied an entire thing of Febreze. Like we're good. <laughs> like, I swear, right, like it's right. it's all right. Right. And he was like, yeah. He's like, was, he's like, I wanted to yell at you one last time, but I already did enough of that in your career. And I was like, ah. I, Become the next commercial for Febreze. Yeah, well, that's cool. He knows it's you're, yeah. you're done. Oh yeah. Yeah. But he's got to make some kind of stance for the next guys, right? The next group coming up oh for sure right yeah, i mean he, i get it you know yeah. and like there's some there's like an interesting relationship there too like he he played at chadron and then he was like the head coach at black hills and then there's like a coaching change and he went back and so they were like super like offended and it's like no one wants to be a bumblebee like that's like yeah. that's a mascot sucks and so um i just i was like dude like i i appreciate you know everything but he He's always a real one. Um, so, we, yeah, we, t- we joked about that story a couple times, and he's just like, you could have – there's a lot of dumb things you could have done. Like, I didn't think – he's like, I was honestly shocked to hear that it was you. Like, you <laughs> yeah. you never got in trouble. I was like, yeah, that's yeah, – uh, That's what uh, I did. That's what I did. So. Go out on a high note. He's yeah. like, my money was on that fucking Juan. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have used that scapegoat and be like, dude, I had to wake up an hour earlier to get you to wait. Like, this is this is payback. But no. You owe me. Yeah, no, it was. It oh, was rough, that's man. good. That that's cool. good. That isn't okay. I thought it was gonna have like a stripper vibe, so that I'm a little relieved. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we we won't talk about those stories. <laughs> right, it was those cigars and showers. I thought I had a Bill Clinton vibe as well. Yeah, I thought. I was that, like, you know shit. That's an old reference, by the way. Yeah. So. He had a filthy cigar. All right. What do you think, Dents? I don't know. They're all real. I, my mind is a little bit. I don't even know if I have a front runner. I don't. You I don't. don't either. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've had one. Yeah. A lot of detail in all of them, so that makes uh-huh. it really hard. I might have a little bit of a front runner. Yeah. A little bit of one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. We have okay. to pick first here. So, uh, Jake, what we do is we rock, paper, scissors to see who has mm-hmm. to guess first. How do you rock, paper, scissors? Rochambeau. Like one, two, three. Shoot. Rock, uh, rock okay. paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, rock, paper, that scissors. That is the right oh. way, Jake. That is the. This are, you, like, are you on shoot? Like, yeah, boom, yeah boom, but boom, he, boom. he's wrong. Boom, boom, he's boom. wrong. That's yeah, not how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys, I think, are winning this year, by the way. I haven't done really? the math yet. It's, it's, we're going to come back at the end, but I think the four pumpers might win again. Rotten fuck. Because Adam's. One, one, two, boom. No, he's a four pumper. Oh, he is too. I'm the only host of this thing that's a three pumper. I think that's uh, disgusting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so okay, ready? ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm like, I, I know go. what you're gonna do right now. Uh, shut up! Yeah, Get I'm out of my head, head right fucker. Now. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh! Every time, every time. Oh, Dancy. Oh, we got All three right. stories: Fort Lewis Juan and cigar and showers. What are you thinking? Fort Lewis Juan cigars and showers. Okay, I think Juan is true. I do. I don't know. There was just like, it, I just, I just felt it. I felt you like Juan felt is the, true. The yeah. Anger. Yeah. Um, and I feel like because of the whole pizza ranch thing, I feel like maybe Fort Lewis is true. So I don't know, just because like I said, I've heard mm-hmm. you talk about pizza ranch mm-hmm. so i don't know why cigars and showers i feel like there's a part of cigars and cigars c- cigars and showers like um yeah I, that, I'm, I'm picking that one and i'm cigars thinking and maybe 
I don't know. I don't know what. I'm just going with that one. You know, scars and showers. I'm going with that one. Yeah. I, I'm gonna agree. I think Juan is a real person. I think it's a real story. Mm-hmm. I like that one. Uh, I, like I think too. cigars and showers is a true story too. Now, here's why I think that the Juan had a lot of detail, but it had almost a little personality to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a little a personal connection there. I like that. Mm-hmm. Cigars and showers, I think, is a very cherished memory of yours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's something that. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It's a simple story, but mm-hmm. I liked it. You know what I mean? Because it's something that happened. Fort Lewis. I'm picking that one. I think a lot of it is true. I think this is an embellished story. Mm-hmm. So I think it's half true, half false. I think Fort Lewis is it. I'm going to call the crazy man. Maybe not screaming so much. Because that takes a lot of balls and a lot of crazy to scream at 17 men his size. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh, that's, God dang it. You're that's, right. That's, okay. uh, that's, that's tough. I mean, but then again, he, what's he got to lose? Wait, yeah, God, that's true. If he right takes now. two or three of you out, fuck, it's still, you know. We're going. <laughs> He's I, like, well, are you going to take my legs? I still, yeah, I, yeah. Still, I still thought I'm in prison. You know the football team's here? Well, they're three short now because <laughs> I had a cake cake for the asses, you know. <laughs> Stare at me, Dorito boy. So oh. I think that's it. I'm going to take Fort Lewis. You're going to take cigars and showers. Before we do that, though. I do want to say thank you to the Brush Emporium for giving us this great lo- <laughs> great location to have our podcast. Pretty cool, right? It Don't is you? really cool. How do you like it in here? Oh, it's, this is awesome. Have yeah, you had I, the pizza? I have not. I have not had the pizza it's yet. pretty good. You should absolutely have it. They have pizza. They have wings. They have pastas here now. Frozen yogurt, ice cream, you name it. They do all kinds of great stuff here. Owned by four great people. Also, if you're, Christmas is coming up, right? Mm-hmm. It's next week. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you're looking for that last minute gift, come on in here. They have a bunch oh, of vendors yeah. in here that have a lot of cool stuff. It's all handmade stuff. It's made by people that are local, you know? So if you want to support true, your locals, yeah, a genuine gift, come down to the Brush Emporium at 210 Clayton Street. Once again, I'm eternally grateful for giving me this space in the bowels of the Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't try to come cross it because you won't find it. Yeah, that's right. That, mm. People, they say people come in and be like, where do they do the podcast at? They look <laughs> around the whole time, you know. Do they? There's a lot of brick walls up there. So they, uh-huh. yeah, so, but we're downstairs. So, uh, don't be telling everybody. First rule of podcast club is you don't Yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> when I see the geez. bowels of the Emporium. Yeah. <laughs> And also, if you like what you're doing, you like uh, listening to Jake's stories, hit that subscribe button. It's on the bottom right hand of the corner of the screen because it's a... It's a little click for you and a big click for us. It's a big click I for us. I remembered. I'm very Aren't proud you of you. Proud? I am yeah, proud of you. I know, you're thanks. the best at it. You're like a, my little dancing monkey. Yeah. That's why I love you so much. Yeah. I don't <laughs> click, click the button. Click, click the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So please do us support it because, man, we really appreciate it. Uh, mm-hmm. and no matter what you're listening to it on, uh, leave a rating or a review, you know? Yeah. And right now, if you can, pick which one you think Jake's stories is bullshit, right? Until he tells us. Right. Yes. Have a little fun. Yeah. I mean, even if you're wrong, who cares, you know? Susan Coaster does it every week, man. She's, I she's, love that. She's legit, man. So, okay. She we got needs Fort Lewis, Juan, and Cigar and Showers. You're taking Cigar and Showers? I'm taking Fort Lewis. Let's see that board, man. All righty. Let's see it. You had some good guesses. Larry. Don't say one. Uh, <laughs> Fort, Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis. What's not, what's not true about it? Um, he didn't have a knife. It was uh, we. Th- I think he had a club of some sort. <laughs> Wait, he was th- he was there as an actual legless guy. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure, hundred percent. Like you, hundred percent wheelchair. Um, the stories get mixed on the the no legs. All I'm saying is that like I I know he hit the debris on the side of the road. I know he was climbing up into his wheelchair. Like if you're a person, I mean, I, with a wheelchair, I I get it, but like there was nothing like he got up and there was nothing like to follow up. Like it was just like, he was on there type of thing. Like it was, yeah, but he he never had a knife. He I definitely had. That's it. That's swinging. the only part that is not that true. Is only, that is a really was, good so story. I was, telling, I was telling Sam about this before I called him on my way home, and I was telling him I was doing this podcast and um, told him the whole concept. He's like, well, "Which one are you going to tell?" And I told him this, and he I told him I was like, "Oh, I'm going to do the Fort Lewis one," and he's like, "He's like, I'll never forget that night. Like that was crazy." And he's like, "What do you like? How are you going to do the line?" I said, "I'm going to say you had a knife." He's like, "Yeah, that's like." Like we don't know what he had, but it, it wasn't a knife. But like we think it was like a like a bat or something. Well, like he, I was thinking when Larry picked it, Fort Lewis. I was thinking, oh uh, like, yeah, maybe like there was just like somebody across the street like talking shit. But the fact that the guy was actually full on crazy and no oh, legs, for sure. it was yeah. okay. It was insane. Like I, I'll never forget, um, just that moment of like, all right, shit's gonna get real. You yeah. know how sad I would have yeah. been if you that would have said Juan. I would have been so sad. Right, right. Yeah, like no, what? Yeah. You yeah. know, all joking aside, mental illness is a real thing, man. Oh, oh God. And it's rampant in our country. Yeah. It's, ramp- oh, it it's rampant in the world. You know yes. I mean? it's, it is. It gets worse and worse, man. I mean, yeah. for whatever conspiracy theory you want to follow, whether it be Big Pharma and all the crazy shit you're pumping into your body, who knows, man? You know, oh, God. It's, or massive stress, who knows? But 
it's uh, mental illness is a real thing, man. It's yeah. oh, for sure. For you know, I started following this new thing on Instagram, and it's called Do Better Denver. <laughs> And it's just, like, all about how downtown Denver's turn into shit and everything. Yeah. But a lot of it, like, they focus on, like, the crazy people that are down there yeah, yeah. and the shit that they're doing. And I was like, nope, don't want to go downtown Denver. Yeah, but how do you fix it? You know what I mean? How do know. you fix it? It's, it's a Yeah. There's no right answer. No. It's not black and white. No. It's mm-hmm. a lot of gray. So... You know, he just and we laugh I about think it. Fix it, it by drugs, <laughs> he fix it by Give drugs, Larry. Give him more meth. That's <laughs> right. Go wrong. That's right. <laughs> Start calling them. That's right. So that's awesome. Was it was it hard to narrow these down to ones you're gonna tell? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've got a lot. I, yeah. I, I, there's, yeah. I've got a lot of crazy, crazy um, stories, and you know, a lot of them are good. Some of them are crazy. Uh, yeah. It was. It what was, a fun, it was fun time of your life. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. that's, you know, that's what I, I try to advocate for, you know, to a lot of athletes, you know, that I coach. I'm like, you know, even if that's the difference, like when you get to college versus the high school thing is high school, you've got kids who are playing because their mom wants a picture to post on Facebook Friday yeah. morning. Like, oh, my kids soon enough. You know, like they, they want that. Right. right. They don't they don't love football. They, they don't. You get to college and everybody loves football. You're there for a reason. You know, yeah. You, you have absolutely. to establish like what your reason why. So for me, it's like my family, you know, like I my family's a reason. That, I, that I've been able to do the things in my life and I'm uh, forever grateful for them. And so um, that was, it was, I, I met so many different people, man. Yeah. I, was mm-hmm. there. I played with a dude from Puerto Rico. I played with a dude from Japan. Shout out to my boy Riku. He's a, he's a solid dude. Um, you know, like I, I have a lot of good friends. And one of the coolest things is my coach, he was talking during, um, like during our camp and stuff. He's like, when you go to get married, He's like, the guys that I went to high school with, like, those weren't the guys that were up there with me. It was the guys who I, um, it was the guys who I played with. And because you just develop, like, you're in such right. a scary point of life because you're, you're out, you're away from home. Like, I mm-hmm. cried the first time I was there by myself, man. It was yeah. so bad. I, I, my mom called me. We were in, she was in Alliance. Um, they were getting something to eat. And I called her and I couldn't talk. <laughs> like, I was sitting there and I was, like, what the fuck did I, I do? Tears. And my mom was like, it's going to be okay. Like, it's going to damn near make me cry now. Like, I, yeah. it was a, it was just a, a point where I grew up. And mm-hmm. it, was, it was far enough away to where I felt like I was on my own. But it was close enough to where, like, if something happened. I, could I do think, back. too, it's probably a point in life where, like, boys become men. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, you sure. really yeah. learn. And you kind of learn what kind of man you're going to be. Mm-hmm. Like, you can tear it up and do a bunch of crazy sure. things. So you're going to have good experiences without For sure. So yeah, much. and you you like start to like realize like some of the things in life that you didn't like, for example, like we, we had a hectic household. So like when we're in college, like that's why we had a clean house. Like I was, I want somebody to be able to like, if anybody came over to the house at any given point, they'd be like, wow, this is a clean house. Like I'm not like, what am I stepping in? Like, what's this, yeah. what's this like falling from the ceiling type right. of thing. Right. And so I was able to, to like discover a lot about myself and yeah. you just, you, you meet people from all walks of life. Yep. You guys, you guys who had everything to guys who I mentioned on this podcast who were sending money home like they were working and playing sending money home to family so that way they keep the lights on and it's just like you get a lot of perspective on Mm -hmm. things and you have some of those fun memories and the best memories I have like I don't have crazy like on the field memories I have the memories of when we would do winter workouts and you if you gave me the script of what we were doing I'd laugh at you like there's no way we do all this and you do it you just shut your mind off and you're laying in the locker room like what in the hell is going on? And you just, those are the memories that I'll like cherish the most. I love that. Yeah. I do love that. You know, I don't have kids, but if I did, the advice I'd, I'd give to young people is uh, try every experience you can. Mm-hmm. With two rules, two rules. You're not hurting yourself, you're not hurting anybody else. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, try everything else. I think I went to college in Pueblo for a couple of years, mm-hmm. but I worked in that nightclub. I talk about Pueblo yeah, a lot. Yeah. I dog Pueblo a lot. Mm-hmm. But that was my favorite time of my life mm-hmm. was when I lived in I Pueblo. I have heard you say sure. that. You know, I worked at this nightclub with people who became very close friends of mine in right. life. You know, I love catching up with them. A few of them been on the podcast. They drove down to Brush just to do this mm-hmm. podcast. Yeah. It's been cool. But I, I feel you. Like, those are the people who... And I love my high school friends and my friends from here. Oh, yeah, you for know? sure. They're boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, those guys I met down there were people you met as an adult. Mm-hmm. Right? right? I mean, yeah. so... Yeah, and, like, you know, you, you leave, <clears throat> and they do... They go off and do their own thing, you know? And, like, some guys stay back. Some guys go. Some guys don't come back. You know, for like, me, like, I was, I was very grateful to be able to go six, seven mm-hmm. years when I was up there and then had the opportunity to come back. Like I, I went and experienced what was out there. I mean, I, again, you meet all these people, yeah. but it gives you like that appreciation when you come back. Right. Like, okay. Like these are my roots. These are, these are the people that 
that I've seen grown up. And that's that's what makes high school football special versus college is because in college I look up and I see my family. You see, you know, people like people that you know, like a, like a handful. And then right. in high school you can look up like I know you, you, you. So like there's there's definitely different aspects mm-hmm. of both sides of things. But at the end of the day, you like you said, you grow as a human because as an adult because like you you are put into the elements. You have no idea what's going like, to sink or swim. Seriously, yeah, like yeah, some, no, for sure. Like I, and that's the that's the thing I tell the players all the time. And I was like, if you're gonna quit, quit tomorrow, and then tell yourself the same thing the next day. If you're gonna quit, right. quit tomorrow. Like you, yeah. like you, you will get through this. Whatever you've got going on in life, at some point it will end. Whatever. If you're in a tough workout, if you're in a meeting that sucks, if you're in something that's going on, at some point this is going to end. Whether it's today, tomorrow, whatever it is, it will end, and you will be all right as long as you can get to that that point where you're able to get into bed and be like, you know what I did another day. Right. That's all that matters. It's the old saying, this, t- uh, this too shall pass. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I live by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This yep. too shall pass. So I have my life too. Because there's been yeah. a lot of times, like you said, it's mm-hmm. like, you know. Yeah. When you're in it, it just feels like so overwhelming or whatever. But really, in, you know, a week from there or whatever. <sighs> One thing I'll ask you, though, before we get uh, going with this, we've our time. But uh, uh, you ever look back now, Jake, and wonder how you did survive some of it? You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. You would never do it again at this age, right? Or you never, I mean, you may go back and do it again, but you look back and you're like, man, how did I? Right. Yeah, there how, was, how did like, I, you, you know, know you, you asked the guys uh, that I played with, like, I wasn't a big party guy. Like, I, I yeah. for me, it wasn't like, I don't know, I, I didn't want to wake up <clears> in the morning and just, like, question what I did. Like, did I do anything <laughs> illegal? Did I do anything stupid? Am I going to be, you know, like, what, what, what happened? It's just, it, I'm a big dude. So you go into a party, and I'm, like, seeing over everybody, and I'm, like, seeing the weird right. stuff that's going on. I'm, like, this isn't this isn't me. The small guy always wants to fight the big guy. Exactly. So now I'm going to put in a position of, like, I like I, I have common sense, but also, like, I'm going to stand on business. Like, I'm not going to – like, you're not going to come and do that to me type of thing. And so okay. – um, but definitely there were times where I was in situations where I was, like, yeah, I, I, that, was, that was pure luck um, that I was able to – you know, get, get out. There were times where I was helping guys out and some crazy, some crazy things, but uh, everything, you know, whether it is good or bad, is you learn from it and that's, you can't change, you can't change the past, but you can change it by, if you're put in that situation again, making a different decision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, I don't regret anything, man. I, I had some, I, had, I did some really fun things. I did some really stupid things. I But, like, uh, the bottom line is, too, even though you did those things, like, you never did anything to hurt anyone or you didn't. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I think that's really what you should be proud of is looking yeah. back at me and, like, hey, you know, I, I mm-hmm. kept. No, for sure. You know, like, I, I, I think standards. you grew up. Yeah, you, like, you grow up a lot. And yeah. Like, did, I, did I do dumb things? Yeah, was I immature? I mean, the college itself, it's it's a smaller college. It's like two, 3000 people. So it was awesome because like you got to know everybody, but there's also some kids who were like, Hey, I wasn't popular in high school. So I'm going to redefine myself mm-hmm. in college. And like, you're worrying about things that you should never have to worry about in college. Like it doesn't matter right. who, like what's going on. Um, so some of those, th- like some of those things I'm like, I, I wish I, you know, right. would have just like cared less about and just been like this. I don't, I don't know why you're, t- well, that's be called you know? becoming an adult. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. You know, it's, uh-huh. it's, it's, it was a, it was a cool thing. And now it's, it's awesome. Cause I get to see my brother do the same thing. Yep. And, that's very you know, cool. he's, he's finding a new spot. Um, as we speak, he's on plane rides. He's, he's figuring out where he's going to land the next couple years, but being able to compare stories with him and he's, he's more of the, the extrovert. He, he definitely has some, some fun, uh, some fun stories, but, um, being able to, you know, just give him words of wisdom. I'm not going to be there to hold his hand. I'm not going to tell him what to do, what not to do. Mm-hmm. Um, just let him figure out life. But then in whatever he's put in a sticky situation, like, hey, right. you know, give me a call and, like, I'll, I'll help you out the best I can. But um, as far as it comes with just growing up as an adult. Yeah, well, sometimes gonna... we got to learn on our own. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Well, dude, I yeah. Mama, Mama Norris isn't always going to be the shout to my exactly. Mama. Exactly. Mama Nor- it's a Mama Norris. Yeah. I know she's going to listen to this on her she way to, cuts and to goes, work. Fly, please fly good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she was. She was worried about me for the first year. We, like, that's uh, what moms do. Yeah. yeah. She's like, ah, oh, then you then you figured it out. But there are definitely times like the first time I you know I FaceTimed her when I had one too many and talking to it. Uh, my two-year-old little sister and a super intoxicated yeah. uh, Jake are the same conversation. And she was in Steamboat, and she's like, I will drive right now to come make sure you're okay. And, like, yeah. thank goodness none of my other roommates were on. And I remember Tavon grabbed the phone. He's like, hey, Mama Norris, like, it's all good. Like, we're going to 
take care of it. I'm sitting there doing my footwork in the living room, like in case someone intrudes or something. Like I was, <laughs> yeah. it was a, it was a long night. That was another, that was all because of Matt Vargas too. Just remember that buddy. I remember that <laughs> night too. I'm with Asshole. you. Trust me. Nighttime Larry's. Much oh God. Yeah. 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 She's seen it, but like, uh-huh. I, like I said, college Jake and professional Jake are two totally, as totally they should different be people. Yeah. It's like, it's like old school. <laughs> That's cool though, man. Hey Jake, you did a great job. Yeah, man. You, you did. Sure. Good job. This. Well, it was you. awesome, man. I, I appreciate you coming on. But did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. I would love Yeah. If you ever need just some interesting <laughs> interesting stories or anything, yeah. just hit me up, man. I love I love telling stories. I love, uh, you know, reliving the old days and it's things fun. like that. Yeah. Before we go, I do want to say uh, we're not going to have an episode for the last uh, week of the year. We're taking that week off for the uh, holidays. Uh, but this is uh, happening. Are you doing something for like 150, 200? Uh, no, I don't think 150, but no. maybe 200. 200. We'll, we'll get something going on. I got some stuff in the works. But uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry it's Christmas. coming up, you know, and yep. I want to thank everybody so much. This is episode 147. Remember when we started this? Yeah, year? that is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. Uh, but thank you. 2023 has been a fun year, man. It's been a lot of, it's been crazy. And it's my favorite part about this podcast is meeting guys like you, Jake. Yep. You know what I mean? Listening to stories and, and learning about people. It's, mm-hmm. it's fun. It's a blast, no, you know. No, and sweet. I appreciate all of you who have uh, supported this podcast. There's been a bunch of people. Whenever I go out in town, someone always comes up to me and says something about yeah. it. Remember they, they. If they want to be on it, I'm like, come to the podcast. And they're like, I don't have any stories. And I'm like, here, here comes the, here comes the rigmarole. Everybody always has Everybody's one. Got stories, Everybody's Everybody's got stories, man. Everybody's got stories. Everyone's got one. So thank you very much. I want to wish you a happy holidays, man. I want to wish you a, a, I hope 2024 kicks ass for you, man. I, it's, you know, listen to what Jake so words. Right. This is a perfect. Uh, this is a perfect pod, uh, perfect podcast to end of the year, man. You, yeah, were, I you agree. were great. Thank you. That a lot of inspirational shirt. Yeah, thank so much. Anyway, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. You have a happy new year. I'm Moose Lundstrom. And I'm Dancy Kudron. Hey, Jake Norris. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a happy new year. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas. Peace. Peace.